opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. Nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. D3 protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This offers an equal trade of pieces. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Recaptures. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped knight. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This misses an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This doubles the rooks onto a single file which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. This wins material. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This reveals an attack on a queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. That queen was free for the taking. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to create a passed pawn. 
This is the start of the end game and white is losing. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is excellent. That was a free bishop. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This defends the attack knight. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This evades the check from the queen. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing queen. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This creates a threat to win a pawn. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is excellent. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This overlooks a better way to evade the check from the opposing queen. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A solid choice. It is excellent. This immobilizes the opponent's knight by pinning it to the king. It is excellent. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. This evades the check from the rook. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is the way to win a rook. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black found some nice moves in the middle game.